What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, or reliable MC, make sure to head over to my sponsor, link is down below. Um, for the cheapest, fastest, reliable MC on the market, hit them up right now. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today, <clears throat> we're going to go over the market crash, the end game market crash. And guys, NBA 2K22 is right around the corner. And if you guys want to see some, <clears throat> a lot of streams and a lot of grinding in NBA 2K22, make sure to support me. Like the video, go follow Twitter because we're doing a giveaway on there. Follow Instagram, follow TikTok. We're also doing a $100, uh, $100 real cash giveaway on TikTok because we need 1,000 followers because we're doing sports cards in there. Go follow that. If you need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT on both consoles for very, very cheap. Um, but in this video, we're going to go over to Market Crash. We're going to pop a little bit of packs. Um, and also, like down below in the comments, I want to hear what you guys think of NBA 2K22 coming out and what you think they should improve. Um, but anyways, we're chilling here. Um, for some reason, my whole entire, like, sinus, my ears, I'm clogged up. Like, I have a stuffy nose, my ears hurt, and I don't know. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me anymore, man. But anyways, um, let's go over this. Cade Cunningham is one of the cards that actually did rise up. The market is still very, very crashed, though. But right now, if you guys would, if you are new to the game, if you have a lot of players that you would sell, now is probably your best bet to sell your cards. Be honest. Um... It's going to be probably your best bet because, as you guys know, as the days go on, the market gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So now is your best bet to sell your cars. And I wonder. It's probably not going to happen, but I think they should release one more batch of content. I think they can release a batch of content, to be honest. I think they have some room for some more content. I believe that Drew Holiday deserves a Dark Matter card. I believe that a lot of players deserve a Dark Matter card. I believe that Bobby Portis deserves a Dark Matter card. I believe that Bruce Brown deserves a pretty good card. Um, but I guess not. We shall see. But um, right now, the market's crashed. So if you guys want to make MT right now, sell your cards. Literally wait till Friday where more people get on the game and buy new ones. Also, 2K22 wish list. What do you want in the game? I want a better weekend league. Limited does not cut it, in my opinion. <clears throat> I think limited is terrible because the one the one ring available each week is cool. But like if you're going away for that week, you can't get the ring. Not only that, you can glitch it pretty easily. Um, so you must have an 86 lineup or lower. So you can get all bronzes and versus an all bronze team. Um, not only that, the rewards are not good. Because if you're missing out on one week, you're only getting a Hall of Fame badge. Hall of Fame badges and 15 tokens are both useless. Um, next year, I say they do get rid of tokens. I honestly don't see anything. I don't see anything. Like, look at the tokens last year, right? People This year, people grind tokens. These cards are all not usable. These aren't usable, and these aren't usable. So, like, people grinding the hell out of tokens to get absolutely nothing. And this year, thankfully, I didn't grind tokens. Last year, tokens are pretty valuable. Also, card collectors this year were also not valuable whatsoever. Um, card evolutions were not valuable whatsoever. Um, so pretty much every aspect in a game that they somewhat added or made sure that was good didn't make any sense. Level 40, all these rewards are trash until the end. It's simple. Um, I don't know. That's just how I feel. I think all the rewards before level 40 are just worthless. Um, they're literally terrible. This new locker code thing gives you one token. Also, another thing that is worthless. And like I said, they have to fix this. I think this is the most worthless, worthless thing in the game. The whole Jason Tatum thing, bro, is just worthless. Okay? I, I honestly couldn't tell you how I even get there. But um, it's just, it's just, it's just terrible. Um, 4,000 cards for Jason Tatum. Damian Lillard at 2,000 cards is unusable. So pretty much like everything they did add to this game is useless. Even Old Limited, 68 and 0. Do you know how many hours of grinding that is if you're not glitching? Do you understand? That's just how I feel, man. I want to hear what you guys think. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. To be honest, I would really, really like to know. But other than that, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.